It looks like history is becoming more popular. The State Historical Society has seen an increase in visitors and sales at its 10 sites this year. So how has 2009 treated local attractions in our area? Fox 11's Becky DeVries takes a closer look. The National Railroad Museum in Ashwaubenon has been drawing visitors for decades, and this year, despite a difficult economy, the museum has seen new members. Membership has increased. Our overall attendance is about the same as it was last year at this time, but we expect to finish stronger because we've got some new programs this year and some increased attendance for Polar Express. The museum says at the end of last year it had about 1,300 members. It's ending this year with more than 2,000. But the museum's bottom line is slightly behind last year's because of struggles in another area, private parties at the museum. It's been that, that rental revenue that we have come to expect every year which has fallen off. And that's, of course, a direct result of the economy. People just aren't throwing those big parties. It's been good. Heritage uh, Hill State Historical Park has seen its private party business grow. This year it hosted 74 weddings and about 25 receptions. That's up from last year's 60 weddings and 9 receptions. Attendance at Heritage Hill is also on the rise. Last year, more than 53,000 people visited the park. So far this year, about 50,000 people have come through. And the executive director is optimistic Heritage Hill will meet its goal of 55,000 visitors for the year. And the attendance numbers translates with income. And the more folks that come in the gates, uh, the more income that does come in. Another place that has seen more visitors this year, the Green Bay Botanical Garden, which is currently hosting the WPS Garden of Lights. 2009 has been a phenomenal year for us. We've seen an increase in um, daily attendance in most of our events. The executive director says revenue is up 62 percent from last year. Though the garden increased its adult admission price, it says it's had a successful year because of increased interest in growing your own garden, good weather, and people staying closer to home for recreation. We actually have had a pretty good year in general. Our attractions, um, I think there's something to the staycation. Uh, people this year um, maybe didn't go on a longer trip and, and discovered some things that they hadn't been to for a while here in our own community. And while people are checking out attractions closer to home, that means they likely don't need a place to stay. And hotel occupancy numbers show that. We're down uh, right about 14 percent year to date, and that's about average for the state. Uh, Madison and Milwaukee are a little bit higher than that. As many local attractions are enjoying increased attendance this year, hotels are hoping for better numbers next year. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Tourism officials say a main reason people return to local attractions is that local places do a good job of creating new attractions to bring people 